I'm Ayman, and welcome back to one of my auto repair videos. In my last video, I showed you guys how to refill the AC refrigerant on a 2017 Honda Civic. And if you're interested, go check out that video. In this video, I want to focus more on the tools that you will need to actually do that procedure, and more so on this hose. So this hose right here is a specific hose that you use for the R1234YF refrigerant. It's different than the hose that you would use for R134A, and we got this at AutoZone. At AutoZone, it was a bit expensive, but on Amazon, it's a bit cheaper. So keep a lookout in the comments down below if you want to purchase one. Okay, so let me take this out of the packaging, just so we can compare it with the other hose. Uh, you know, R1234YF, which is the name of the refrigerant, it's, uh, it's a much newer refrigerant. Uh, that's meant to be more environmentally friendly, uh, which is why it uses different fittings. They don't want you to confuse, uh, they don't want you to use the older refrigerants on newer cars so that they can comply with regulations. And so you'll notice that the fittings are actually different for the newer hose and for the older hose. And I can demonstrate right now, if you try to use an older hose on a newer car, It won't actually fit. Whereas the new hose, will fit. Full disclaimer on that, don't do that at home, what I just did. One, you don't want to waste that $44 of can of refrigerant that you just used to fill up your system. And second, it's also bad for the environment. So don't release AC into the air. Anyway, talking, getting back to talking about this hose, uh, this is what the packaging looks like. It was $20, I believe, at AutoZone. You can get it cheaper on Amazon. It has all the instructions that you'll need. And one thing I want to mention is that compared to the R134A hose, it has different threadings as well. This one has a normal threading. If you screw it clockwise, it'll screw in. I mean, if you, if you take the, the can and you want to screw it in, it screws in normally. But if you take it, the R1234YF and you want to screw it in, it actually screws in opposite. It screws in counterclockwise. It has a reverse thread. I assume the reason that they do this is so that you don't... It's, a, it's another measure to prevent you from using the older uh, R134A uh, on this new hose. I mean... Another thing that you, you can notice is that this one also has a pressure gauge on it so that you can read the pressure on your system, whereas the old hose does not have one. Now, some hoses uh, for the older version can have a gauge. Ours does not. This one was $5, so it didn't have a gauge that came with it. But the reason that a gauge is so important is because you want to make sure that you're not overfilling the system, you're not overcharging it. The only reason that you would use a uh, a hose without a gauge is if you know for sure that your system is low on AC because one can of these can basically fill a system and so you can only be confident with a, a hose like this without a gauge if you know that your system is low so that's why it's so important that we have a gauge on this new hose and uh, I, I think that's really all I can talk about I already showed you the packaging um, if you're really interested in seeing this actually this product in use then go check out my other video on actually refilling the system um this was just using this was very new to us because we were, were so familiar with the r134a that sometimes we, we found ourselves getting uh confused on the which way it turned especially like this one you would think turning this uh, this knob to the right would cause the pin to uh, puncture the can but it's actually you turn it counterclockwise to cause this pin to puncture the can. So this is also reverse threaded. So very finicky to use, but once you get the hang of it, it's just a normal AC job. Okay, so I'm Ayman, and I just talked a bit about this uh, R1234YF service hose uh, for filling your AC refrigerant. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Look at the videos on the uh, especially the auto repair videos and the video that I just did about refilling the AC. Again, look in the comments down below if you're interested in buying this on Amazon. And uh, I guess that's all for now. I'm Ayman, and signing out.
piece. So as you do this, you want to make sure that the can is fully penetrated. You don't want to retract the pin because this is a self-sealing can. If you retract the pin, it's going to seal itself. So you want to make sure that this, put, this pin is fully punctured in and that the refrigerant is flowing into the system. As you do, as you, do this, you might notice that the system actually sounds louder because there's more pressure in it. And you want to do this for five to seven minutes while shaking the can.